Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're gonna talk about how secondary air injection works and what's the point. Let's start with what the purpose of secondary air injection is. So secondary air is essentially an emissions control system. This injects air into the exhaust on cold start. The function of this is to heat up the catalytic converters and also inject oxygen into it to assist the emissions into reducing the emissions on cold start when the vehicle is running richer. For VW and Audi models, there are only really two major components that are the most important parts of the secondary air system. The main one is the obviously secondary air pump, which is an electric pump and actually pumps the air into the exhaust. The second one is the combination valve or sometimes called combi valve, sometimes spelled with a K in the uh, scan tools because of German stuff. Um, and that essentially opens and closes to allow the air to flow into the exhaust. They are actually controlled by the ECM of the vehicle and depending on the vehicle, uh, controlled in a different manner. So let's go through the basic flow of a secondary air system. So we have a diagram here that's laid out. It's intended for a turbo car because a lot of the mainstream VW and Audis are turbo cars. So this is gonna give you a brief understanding of how it integrates into the general models. Keep in mind, this is not specific to any certain model or engine. This is just a general overview of the flow of how secondary air works. So on cold start, the vehicle determines that it needs secondary air to turn on. The air is then flowing in through the intake it then turns on the secondary air pump. It starts flowing from the intake through the intake hose of a secondary air system into the secondary air pump, then is forced out of a secondary air pump into the combination valve. The com combination valve is now open at this point, allowing the air to flow in through the exhaust and out to the catalytic converter, and then continue to run. Usually for whatever the warm up process is, it doesn't run for a long time, maybe a minute, two, three minutes um, before it will then turn off. If your system is continuing to run it over and over again, you probably have an issue somewhere along the way um, and should address that. My guess would be is you would probably have a check engine light. So let's take a look at a few specific components uh, just to go a little bit further into secondary air on VW and Audi engines. So if we take a look here, this is going to be what most Volkswagen and Audi engines use for secondary air, which would be the secondary air pump, a pressure sensor that goes in the hose or pipe that goes from the pump to the combination valve. Because again, keep in mind, that is the pressure side. The intake side doesn't actually have any pressure. All you're doing is making sure that all the air coming into that pump is clean. Uh, and then you're going to have the combination valve and the N112 valve. Now the N112 valve is going to vary depending on model. On most current model VW and Audis, it's going to be an actual electronic solenoid that's attached to the top of a combination valve. On previous generation models, if you take a look at this picture here, we have a 18T diagram. It's, again, it's not specific, but uh, this is generally how a 18T would work. You would have a separate solenoid valve for the N112 valve. Um, and so what you're gonna have is your secondary air pump, you're going to have your combination valve, and then the N112 valve attaches to a vacuum line on the intake manifold and then on the combination valve. And then what's gonna happen is the vehicle is going to tell that valve to open and close at the appropriate time when it needs to open that combination valve up. The later model cars obviously use uh, actual electronic valve that opens and closes accordingly under those conditions. So if you're watching this and you're wondering how to diagnose this. This system is pretty simple. If you looked at a VAGCOM, you'd be able to have uh, an activation of each system. There is something called output diagnostic test mode, which allows uh, you to actuate each one of these functions, one of them being the pump to allow it to run um, and then diagnose it from there. Thank you for watching our secondary air injection video, how it works and what it does. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you think we missed anything or have any comments, be sure to leave in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Also, keep in mind, we are your number one source for Volkswagen and Audi parts online.